at a solid 2-3 zone that we shot about 32% in. And when that happens, you got to make the plays or have transition baskets, and we didn't have it. Courtney Williams tried to go as much as she could, but uh, with her back problems that she had, she was just completely ineffective in the ball game, so we had to go a different direction. But Walker played well, but she was the only consistent scoring threat that we had. Jennings did a good job offensively and defensively. Uh, Kyla got a double-double. But at the same time, when you get behind, you have to play offense, defense a lot of times by putting your quicker kids in on the press and everything. And we did a good job. We turned them over, got some opportunities, and we had a chance to tie the game three times in the last uh, three minutes. And each time we either found out a, a point short or we couldn't hit an offensive rebound or we missed a wide open three. Lesson learned. And now we're on to Baton Rouge, and uh, they beat us there in the last game of the year last year that put them in the NCAA tournament. So I'm sure they'll try to build off of that. But we've got to worry about A&M. We've got to get healthier. We've got to get better against the zone. Well, they do not have Ballard. She, she has left the program. Their second leading scorer, Moncrief, has been out for the last 10 ball games. And so what they're doing, they're just learning how to play injured. They've got two players that are out, a uh, all-SEC performer that's gone for their program. But <clears throat> Nikki does a good job of playing with less. She's had injuries the last three years or people in suspension, and they always rally around late in the year to have a good season and make the NCAA tournament. They've got a lot of tradition down there. And uh, – what they do well is they just believe in themselves. They believe in themselves, and these are kids that have been role players most of their career that are now getting starting opportunities, and they're playing well. Their leading scorer averages uh, 11 points a ball game. So they have to blend it around and let everybody share in the shooting and the scoring and play good defense and a very good zone defense. We've had four losses. We're 11 and four. We've played some good basketball. But a lot of times after a loss, we've got to get rid of the drama that comes with losing. Sometimes the other team just plays better than you. Give the other team credit. Turn the page. Work to get better as a basketball team, and uh, we'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with what we have. What we have to do is have a little bit more consistency and we need to have a little bit more leadership from our five seniors when we need them.